time for a quick look at the Vodafone Automotive SCD40. Now this is the, the GPS hardware that works with the Minder telematic system. It's a quality bit of kit, it's made in Italy, it's super reliable, you know it's going to be good. I mean first off it's small, so from, from my point of view as an installer it's great, it's small, I can hide it, I know it's reliable and yeah so it comes with a couple of mounting clips so these quite simply slide in they're locking quite nicely I can bolt it down I can mount it the other way I can bolt it up or if that's not going to work I've got a couple of cable tie holes in here I can slide this through you get the idea I can mount it nicely or if it's one of those vehicles which I do a lot of it's worth doing the time and the hard yards and out comes the 3D printer and you can get a bracket made up for it. All fitted, factory bolt, you would be amazed how many vehicles have a good location behind the dashboard with a, like a M6 red or something and you can just bolt this thing in place. Yeah, anyway, you get the idea, it's small, whereas take something like a navman by comparison it's like you know what am i what am i going to do with that how where am i going to fit it it's junk so um yeah this thing wants to be secure it doesn't want to rattle um it's got a 6d accelerometer so that basically means that if there's any movement it's going to wake up so Normally, it's in your vehicle, it's in sleep mode, it will be pulling less than 5 milliamps. That's a big deal. Most trackers pull 10 times that much, and it's really not good for your battery. This thing is good. It's not going to give you a flat battery. You go away on holiday for a week, you come back, your car can't start, you know, that click, 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 click. Most of the trackers do not publish the information. These are great, it's transparent, it's honest, it's made in Italy. Yeah, good bit of hardware. So as far as the wiring goes, it can work as a basic three wire system, 12 volt ignition ground. The GPS aerial is all contained, so no extra bits to install. It does have the option of an external GPS aerial here. Very rare is it used, but there are one or two cars which just need it. It's an option if you need that, so it's, it's covered. Um, as far as the CAN bus side of it goes, have a good look at the, um, the Cobra AK4615 on the website. This thing can work as an alarm pretty much the same as that can, as in it can read all the vehicle data, it knows if you've locked the car with the remote control, if you've unlocked it, if a door's been opened, um, it's got an output for a horn, it can flash an LED. Um, or you can hook it up to your external alarm and if your alarm triggers this can notify you it's yeah very clever bit of kit but obviously the CAN bus side of it does depend on the vehicle if you've got a late model Toyota you can almost guarantee this thing is going to work beautifully with it um, it can also do things like read the odometer um, my systems you put the odometer reading in when you install it and then the GPS guesses how far it's gone this thing can actually read the data it, it's got the true reading fantastic bit of kit anyway enough of my waffling um, if you want more information have a good look at the Minder website um, which is minder.nz or you can check out vehiclesecurity.co.nz and I'll be trying to do updates on these in the near future. Um, thanks for watching, hey? Eh?